Give it up for Edgar Rivera. that they're gonna play ball in front of the building. I'm fucking 10. I wanna be playing ball with them, Dad. I don't wanna tell them. Man, I go tell your friends. I'll be like, come on, guys. My father said you can't play ball in front of the building. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Edgar. Tell your father there's no hot water. <laughs> fucking there's hot water. <laughs> that couldn't do shit. Look, one time I dished the cab. I dished the fucking cab. And I wanted to pay. I wanted to pay. I gave the Dominican $20. But that Dominican told me he had no change, and he was gonna drive to the store, and for me to wait for him in the corner, and he was gonna come back and bring my change. <laughs> and I said, fuck you. And I took the $20, and I ran inside the fucking front of the building, because I'm the super son. I got doors and shit that people can't use. I ran in the front of the building, out the side door, down the back door, fucking in the entrance to the side, and I made it to my room, and I thought I got away with murder. You ever done some shit, you're like, ah, ah! Get me. <laughs> I got away with this shit. And then that bitch on the third floor said, That's the super song. <laughs> and I turned her hot water off. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> love my parents. I love my parents to death. Yo, if your parents are still alive, yo. Fucking call them. Call them fucking tomorrow morning. Tell them you love them, yo. They're gonna be here forever. Yo, my parents are fucking special. 32 years in this country. They still don't speak English. <laughs> I find this shit amazing, yo. 32 years, they don't speak it. No, in my household, mira, aquí se habla español, puñeta. Right? <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is? That they do speak it, they just don't do it in front of us because we laugh at them. But right, for the first time, check this out, for the first time in my life, my sister has a boyfriend that does not speak Spanish. And this shit is fucking priceless. <laughs> I smoke weed just to hear my father talk to my brother-in-law. That's fucking entertainment. As in fuck the best, the best entertainment. Last week he was complaining to my brother-in-law. Just like this, he said, Mira, can you believe? <laughs> and I thought it was a Jew in the room. I was like, where the fuck is the Jew? He said, can you believe how much is snow? We got this Gia. That was unbelievable. Yo, he said that shit so convincingly. He said, he said, unbelievable. And my brother looked at me and I looked at him and I said, go with it, son, go with it. Go with it, because you can never correct your Latino father. No parents. Your parents are always right, no matter what. They fucking right. I try to correct them. I try to correct my Latino father. I try to tell them, I said, Papi, I think you meant to say unbelievable. It's not unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Flip the fuck out. No pendejo. It's unbelievable. Because I saw it in my house, in my sala, in my sofa, in my television, in primer impacto. Unbelievable. Like Big Fish and his brother. Unbelievable. Yes! Yo, you what up? Yo, big dude, what you do for a living, bro? He eats. He eats. <laughs> He eats people in Brooklyn. He don't fuck with him. He likes Bernie. What, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You do security? Cause yeah, cause you'll be fucked up if you did something else. Gotta, that's your calling. You know, you play basketball or security. Huh? But basketball days are over. That's a big dude right there, bro. That's a big dude. Fish. Who's older? Fish? <laughs> he looked at me like, what the fuck, yo? Look how fucked up fish looks. Look how fucking young I look. I got cool Nikes. Look at my shit. I don't even fucking tie them. I'm younger. I don't know where this crazy at. That's some fucking, that's some handicap style right there. That shit is fucking broke up. <laughs> that's how you take them off. Size 17, pal carajo. Let's go. Up. Love it, man. You know, I, I um, I feel like we family. I want to share this personal shit with y'all. Uh, I quit smoking weed. Me too. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Why? Even the cameraman said, that's fucked up. When you say I quit smoking weed, people be like, that's good for you. Congratulations, the cameraman. You are an asshole. Why would you quit? I quit smoking weed, yo, 32 minutes ago. On the way here and after this show, I think I'm smoking with Big Fish and his brother. You smoke weed? Oh, shit. Your, your mom is here? <laughs> you, said it, you said it like me because I'm scared of my parents. I mean, no, I don't smoke weed. Put that dog on. I got you. I got you. Because listen, man, I got these old hillbilly or the weekend parents. My parents think marijuana is the worst drug in the world. The worst fucking drug. That's my parents. Mira, my mother. Mira, look at your friend Johnny. The marijuana is killing him. <laughs> Man, he's, he looks happy, he's eating a hot dog, he got the munchies. Lo está matando, he's killing him, mira pa' allá. <laughs> my father, listen, my father to this day, he see me hanging out with somebody, he knows smoke weed. Real quick, mira, 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 Come over here, come over here. I want to tell you something. I don't want you hanging out with that guy. See, that guy right there, I don't want you hanging out with that guy. Because that guy is taking marijuana. <laughs> He fucked me up with that one. I was like, where is he taking it, Dad? Where? Because I was high when he told me. I was like, wow, that shit is amazing. I said, and I tried to correct him again. I said, Papi, you can't take marijuana. You smoke it. No, pendejo. He is taking marijuana. And then the comedian in me kicked in. The comedian in me kicked in. And I said, let me see how far I can take this. Taking marijuana, coño. Come on, let me see how far I can take this. And I told him, Papi, how do you take marijuana? And he said, that's easy. They go to the corner, and they get it from the Dominican. And then they bring the marijuana home. Check this out, check this out. True story. They bring the marijuana home. They put it in water, and they boil it like a tea. And then they take one of your mother's diabetes needles. They put it in the water, and then they put it on the cotton, and then they inject it in the arm. And I said, he is fucking serious. I stood there and I heard that whole shit high out of my mind. Once I got high, I almost injected myself marijuana just to see what it would do. And that's why I would never tell my parents I smoke weed, but one thing I love to do is get high and visit them. Who gets high around their parents? Clap it up if you get high around your parents. Who has the luxury to do that shit? Just one guy right there, one guy. <laughs> I fucking do that shit all the time. Usually I like to do it on Saturdays, like around 8, 8, 15, because that's Sábado Gigante night. That's the biggest night on Latino TV, yo. Right? Last Saturday, I went to my parents' house. I knocked on the door. My father opens the door in his high water shorts. High water shorts. Let me tell you, man, those shit were all the way up to here. And his right ball was sticking out, yo. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, oh my god, was that his ball? Because now I'm thinking this fucking weed is good, yo. I saw my father's ball, the right one. I came from that ball. I started questioning myself. Should I look again with that gaming game? I stood there like Stevie Wonder for two minutes. I thought, I'm not looking out for shit, but And then I looked and I saw the ball, and I was like, oh shit, the ball is truly there. And then we made eye contact. And you know when you hide, and somebody look at you in the eyes, you think they know? You know that feeling? Yo, my, you know, they look at you, my father laughed eyes for me, and I froze like a deer. I said, holy shit, man, go, yo, oh my God, what I'm going to tell him, fuck, he got me, shit. And that was the ADD talking in my head. He got real serious. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. 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 We good? We good, fish? We good? We good? We good? All right, all right. All right, all right. Don't worry, all right. Of course we are. <laughs> no, no, fish, I, I believe you, man. They look like the sons. <laughs> they look so little next to you. Come on, guys, don't fight. We're here for my birthday. <laughs>
This is my birthday, we can't fight today because my brother's off, he got his fancy sneakers. He ain't never off? Nah, nah, he ready, look, he ready. Look, he, he falling asleep. Again? Again? He fell asleep before? All right, all right, all right. Oh. Alright, where my, where my couples at? Couples, make some noise. Come on, clap it up, clap it up. Couples, couples. Couples, couples. Come on, no couples in here? Couples? Nobody? Love it, love it, couples. Everybody single, big fish? You only know single people? No couples in here whatsoever? You, right there. You saw how he looked at me? He said, no, I'm gay. I said, look, he said it. No, I like dick, I like dick. You should have said, yeah, no, wait, wait, they, they all mind. <laughs> so the, the look you gave me, you're like, oh, hell no, hell no. I don't like nobody in here. <laughs> you in a relationship? You I hear it? No? You single? Married? Where she at? Oh? Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's going to come out tomorrow and be very impacto. <laughs> How long you been married, dude? Seven years? And that's what happens when you go out alone? That's it, right? Uh, I don't know. Who, who's the best family right here? Oh, fish. Ah, oh, shit, fish. I'm not even gonna mess with them no more. I'm not gonna mess with them. Yo, single ladies, where you at? Single ladies? <laughs> yeah, you thought you sounded like real fucking hair. Like, you don't even believe in yourself. I looked at this a single lady. She said, <laughs> <laughs> Relationships are fucking hard. Let me tell you, relationships are hard, man. Yo, seven years. Look, he's out by himself. That's how hard they are. Relationships, no, no, relationships are fucking hard. You know why? Why? Because we don't fucking trust each other. Do, do you trust your wife? No. Yeah? She trusts you? I don't know. He said no. He's not even fish going on. Even fish. Fish is standing there like a bully. Fish is standing there like, what happened? Go ahead. Answer the question now. Like, I ask people questions and they, they look at fish. Fish cannot answer? Shut up. Fuck it, yo. You guys, you do, I got, I got smoke weed, I got ADD. A fight almost broke out, that shit fucked me up. I saw fish with the two kids, I was like, oh, it's a fight up in here. I gotta go to work in the morning. Who gotta go to work in the morning? Who gotta go to work? I ain't got no job. Fish, you don't got no job? Nah. What, what, no? Be tired? Being a boss, I don't want to even ask him what fish does. <laughs> but the summertime is coming, give it up, oh summertime is coming. Fuck yeah, fucking summer is coming. Come on, clap it up, summer. No, this fucking winter was horrible. This winter was fucking horrible. That was the worst winter ever. You know, you wanna know how I know? White people stop jogging. <laughs> That's fucking cold when white people go, I am not jogging, it is too cold. That's fucking cold because white people jog. Any white people here right now? White people? White? Yes, so low, so. They are jogging right down fucking Atlantic. <laughs> white people jog in any situation. That shit bugs me out, bro. It could be raining, cold, windy, snowing, a tsunami. They don't give a fuck. Six o'clock in the morning on a Monday. When that shit hurt, Monday. You walk into work on one of those days that you don't want to go to work. You ever had that day? You walk into work and when nobody's looking, you catch a little tantrum in the mind. You ever do that shit when nobody's looking? I don't want to fucking go to work, yo. You ever be on your way to work when you don't want to go to work and you pray for something to happen? No, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Once I pray for a car to hit me. Not a big hit, don't take me wrong. I don't want to be paralyzed. All I need is a little scared. I can call my boss. Hello? I can't come in today. I just got hit by a car. Yeah, the doctor said two weeks. I know it just happened, but there was a doctor walking by. And he told me I should take two weeks. You want me to work mad as hell? Mad as hell! And I know where the white people, the fucking eye those little fucking shorts, that's dedication. That's dedication, Latinos, blacks, mm. I get up at six o'clock in the morning, and I look out my window, and if it's beautiful outside, I don't want to go to work. Ever had that day? You get up, you look out the window, and the first word that comes out of your mouth is, 
Fuck that. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then what we do, what we do, we walk around the whole house and then you come back and you look out the window again like the situation's gonna change. Oh, and we always ask ourselves the same question like, damn, how many sick days do I have left? <laughs> and when was the last time that I took one? Cause you know you never take two in a row, hell no, the summer's coming. <laughs> Cause the worst thing in the world is calling out sick when you're faking it. And some of you looking at me like, you could do that? <laughs> I know we all done this shit. I don't know about you, but I gotta premeditate that conversation. And we all been there. I don't wanna hear that shit. We all been there. You all fucking go out sick and fucking lied and went to the beach and do some shit. I gotta premeditate it. So let's say I'm gonna go out sick on Friday. I start to get sick on Wednesday. In front of all my co-workers. I don't know where you be like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, my throat hurts. Edgar, you were just fine. Yeah, but my throat really hurts. And what we do, we tell everyone this bullshit because you want everyone to believe your lie. You be like, mira, mira, my throat hurts. People look at you like, I don't give a fuck. I call my mother, I call my mother. Mommy, my throat hurt. She's like, papi, drink some NyQuil and don't go to work tomorrow. And I be like, thank you, mommy. Click. And now I'm happy because my mother approved of my life. I'm telling you, listen, if you gotta go out by fucking 7 o'clock in the morning, I get up at 6. Because you ever notice the day you're not going to work is the day you get up the earliest? Yeah. You ever notice this shit? Yeah. It's like your body knows. No alarm, no noise. You wake up happy as shit, right? You're like... Smile. <laughs> I get up happy as hell. I open up all the fucking windows. And I walk around the house with my phone in my hand like this, look, look. Tonya, oh, no, what am I gonna say, bro? What I said the last time. If you start thinking about that shit, what I said the last time. If you Latino, chances are you kill. I've killed my grandfather eight times. Why eight times? Eight different jobs. A new job is a new beginning. They don't know me. I get a new job, I'll be like, I get to kill my grandfather again. Look at her, she's like, I'm gonna kill him tomorrow. Yeah. I walk around the whole house, that shit is personal. When you're going out sick and you're faking it, that shit is personal. If you're in a relationship, you never want to do that shit in front of nobody. That's top secret. You be like, baby, 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 can you please go to the living room? I gotta call a fucking job, yo. Go to the fucking living room, I gotta call a job, yo. Yo, I walk around and I got a minute, I don't know what to do, I always end up in the bathroom. That's why I go out in the bathroom. You wanna see how I do it? Brooklyn, you wanna see how I do it? Yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, look, look. Shh, shh, shh. Cause I'm not people in my bathroom, they should just quiet in my bathroom. Bro. Shh. I lock myself in the bathroom. I turn off the lights. Because I figure the lights are off, God can't see me lying. I dial that number, you put that phone in your ear every time that shit ring your heart hurt. Tony, if your heart hurts, that means you can get fired. That's what the fuck it means. I should be like, Brrr. Ay, Dios mio. Brrr. I hope the voicemail takes off. They pick up the phone, you sound like shit. You sound like they killed everyone in your family. You sound like fucking crap. You ever know that the next time you call out sick, you're gonna remember me. You're gonna fucking laugh in the middle of that shit and you're gonna get fucking fired. You sound like fucking shit. Look, look, look how I do it. Look, look. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Always go up after the first hello. It makes it sound better. Hello. <laughs> this is Edgar. I can't come in. I don't know. No, no, this is Edgar. I can't come in today. I don't know who this is. I will eat. This is Edgar. I can't come in today. My grandfather. My grandfather passed away. Excuse me? I said that three months ago? No, it's my other grandfather. I got two. Yo, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I got you, nigga. I'll be there now, all right? See you later. When they're gonna fire you, you become a comedian real quick. July Fools, motherfucker. July Fools.
Rose. This in Brooklyn. You guys have been great. Keep supporting my boy, Demon, to another motherfucking nine years, y'all.